Yo! What is good, everybody? Brand new episode of Standing on a Million Lives. 100 men know Inochi. Episode 7. And when there's a brand new episode, there's a brand new video. So we're here. If you're here, if you're watching this video, please go and like, please go and subscribe to the channel. Just click that subscribe button, you know that red button, just scroll down a little bit, just, just, just a little bit, just a little bit, scroll down a little bit, just go ahead and press that. And then I'll start this episode. Yeah, right. let's go. <coughs> oh yeah, our boys got uh, our boy got stuck in the pit. A drop down. March shit. He's carving his way out of the pit. <laughs> if he falls, yeah, that's fucked up. Yes. There. By man climbing. Ooh. He does got the weirdest climbing form. How many times have I fallen? Oh, he died. I already died multiple times. All right. Like who climbs backwards? Is that a thing? Is that a thing people do? Climbing backward. Oh no. Oh, his light is off. Gotta go blindly. Woo. I don't need my eyes anymore. I can focus better this way. <laughs> I hope you can, dude. Oh, the flashback again. They couldn't get him a freaking different voice actor for his child. The dude sounds like a 30 year old standing in a classroom of middle schoolers. <laughs> Yo, his voice deep as fuck. He's solo dolo. Solo dolo. Time to pick your groups for the field trip. Divide into groups of six friends each. Ah, oh, yo, that's tough. You guys only have five. Oh, shit, that's tough. Wouldn't happen to a nigga like me though. And I can tell you, wouldn't happen to a nigga like me. Ooh. Oh, he's finally climbing. The correct fucking way. He's finally climbing like a normal person, though. Instead of this weird standing with your back towards the wall. To be unclimbable, didn't you? <laughs> but I just climbed it, master. You did die like five times, maybe even more if they cut out some of the deaths in the anime. You died a lot, dude. So, in a way, it was pretty unclimbable. Alright, let's go. Oh shit, he's using his map to navigate. Oh, that's pretty smart. The map only gives me a top-down view. <laughs> oh yeah, level changes are pretty tough. Right, is that a lock point?
this dude just oh shit How did the nigga die? Hold up. I will send those three soldiers from Diok to join you within the coming day so you can cut them apart. Make no mistake. Yo. How did you die? Bim's bug. No. Shed a tear for the fallen, ho fallen homies. Yo, from red in arms. Ooh, that is tough. At least he's respectful about it. A stranger to everyone. Oh yeah, this is where we left off last episode. What did they call it? The gargoyle? Even though it is the furthest thing from a gargoyle. Oh damn. Vampire bats are getting on my nerves. Of course she doesn't do shit. Useless motherfuckers. Like the only useful two people in this whole party are the night girl and the wizard girl. This chick. So the chick with the blonde hair. <laughs> he just has a key dangling from his arm. <laughs> Holy shit. You definitely have the most. There we go. I had really small targets with a stick. <laughs> that pretty much sums up the majority of them sport in the world hitting small targets with sticks love it too bad were you nervous because it's your last tournament my weakness as a wizard is my low physical strength oh shit did they Oh, I forgot about that. I... Oh, so their stats... From... So their stats changes. <clears throat> like the... Our warrior has like 150% upper body strength. Well, a wizard has only like only 80% in all physical attributes. All those things carry over. Yo, that sucks. <laughs> so she was at 80% of her strength, I guess. Best girl! No! Nah, chief. Nah, chief. No! And they dropped her the fuck down! Fuck! And, and she, and she can't revive. <laughs> she doesn't resurrect. Holy fucking hell, dude. Is 
after this stop. Oh, it's the dude, it's the dude, it's, it's our main character with if it's beast taming. Oh! It was the rank 10 shit. You know, oh, ah. She, oh, she, she went up because she stepped on the vampire bed and killed him. You were a wizard. Yo. <laughs> Yo, that is fucking luck, dude. <laughs> because she stepped backwards on one of those beds that was on the floor. Bam. Oh, she's a warrior. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> yeah, rank up bonus, we know what it is. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my God. Yo, her arm is fucked. These people are fucking useless, dude. Like, my name. Why are you just standing there? What the fuck is wrong with these people? Shindo's getting her ass clapped, arm broken. Yet she's still struggling, she's still going. Yeah, these other people are having trouble with vampire bruh, vampire birds. Vampire bats. I said bird. I don't know why I said bird. Which means cutting locations that will cause instant death or vital wounds. The hurt, the heart. The chest appears to be protected by both armor and bones. In between the chest plate, I guess. Yep. And down, yep. It's with techniques like these, with sword art. Oh, oh. The dude just smashed the fucking shield. Is she gonna swing with her own arm? Okay, that's pretty fucking dope. My man got distracted by the WAP right in his face. Got distracted by that WAP. So she had an opportunity to stab him with the sword. They just. They just j d ditched my guy. And they were like, nigga, get the fuck out of here. As a, making it possible to rank them. Why was I born? Why was I chosen to be a player? Why am I? Who are you? Who are you? Akozaki san.
and you annoying bitch with the glasses. Oh, luckily, he doesn't even think about her. <laughs> Thank God. Who are you? Oh, that's sad. The reason I was chosen as a player. Our current party lineup. Seems like they're being manipulated. They definitely, definitely seem that way. She just so happens to become a warrior. Just as things were getting tough with a monster. Also, why the fuck are wizard classes so fucking weak? <laughs> she on her back. <laughs> You're way too late. Ah, she did a thing. She did it. First of all, she most definitely must have been down there for at least five minutes. At least. Heck, even if we just took the uh, the anime timing, like if we just looked at the at the tire, the duration of the fight in normal human minutes, it would still be at least two fucking minutes. And don't people like get permanent brain damage within like thirty seconds of not being able to fucking breathe, like straight up? He do it. <laughs> Nigga took his clothes off. <laughs> it's irrelevant to the quest. He will save Carvel Sando. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> ah, she should have fucking drowned by now. Oh, my po the pussy didn't even fucking drink it. They should have at least drank it. Get some raw shit in there. <laughs> he down for the count. When they slept. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I did. Yes, sir. Did someone already have a claim on it? No, no, sir. He reminds me of me somehow. Because they're both weird. To find out who he is. My boy Don did his job. While sleeping, he backed the bitch. That's all he needed to do. Fuck this whole quest system thing. All he needed to do was back her bitch. My father ranked second, and my older brother ranked eighth, and my younger brother ranked fifteenth. But the main reason was so I could slice up flesh. <clears throat> My father told me one real battle is worth it. 10,000 practice swings. 
<laughs> oh, her misunderstanding. <laughs> the goods. What do you think the goods are? The third quest was to fulfill the village peace request. <coughs> What if her third quest could have referred to any request by any leader of any village? It didn't matter what type of goblin you defeated. Oh, so the quests are very general then. So they can transport any type of goods. Anything can be classified as goods. Mmm. Marvelous dude. There's a good chance it's not the condemned victims. One of them is a child. They will die for real. So, this is what I love about this main character and this anime. He actually thinks about shit. And when he thinks about shit, he doesn't immediately say, Ha, Eureka! I now know the correct answer for all of eternity. In instead, he actually second guesses himself and is like, you know, the thoughts I have are pretty, pretty, pretty secure. They make logical sense. But, however, there is still a chance that they are, in fact, incorrect. So that's just what's great. So even when he comes up with an idea, he still thinks, you know, this idea could still fail. I could still be wrong. And that was the episode. A little post credit scene, get through the dungeon. <laughs> that was a trap. <laughs> Cute mascot paradise I had. <laughs> oh, the flesh you can slice. <laughs> oh, but she's surviving though. Oh, quick little reaction right there. Standing on the movie lives, episode 7. Shindo and Night Girl are your resident useful party members. The rest of the party members are absolute garbage. But yeah, yes, our boy, our main character, just has to deal with it. I'll see you guys next time.
please like, please subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.